Tragically, we also have patients who do DIY dentistry. The real problem we have with NHS access decreasing is that patients bottle up their problems. When you think of going to the dentist, at the heart of the conversation is often money. Now, poor dental health can lead to serious health problems. And yet it's thought that around one in five people have delayed getting treatment because of cost. And scarily, people are resorting to treating themselves at home. Now, if charges are such a barrier, why is going to the dentist so expensive? To find out more, I'm at the British Dental Association. And perhaps the most obvious place to start is with the annual charge hikes. If the annual rise of inflation in the UK is around the 2% mark, why are dentist charges going up by 5%, nearly double that? The, the reason we think it's going up is because there is a decrease in uh, government investment. About £650 million pounds have gone down since 2010. So the government is using that money from patients to prop up uh, the system. So it's rather strange that uh, patients are having to pay for a system when technically NHS, uh, NHS uh, care is free at the point of delivery. It isn't for dentistry. It hasn't been free for the point of delivery since 19, in the 1950s. NHS dentistry charges have been around since 1951, but in 2006, a new funding system was introduced based on targets, and this is still in play today. It effectively caps the number of patients dentists can treat on the NHS, and this is having a detrimental effect on our access to affordable dental care. So we have a, a fixed amount of uh, money that we can treat patients with. It's a target-driven system that dentists are involved in, which doesn't really equate to healthcare, uh, dental health care for patients. This target-driven culture is pushing dentists away from the NHS. In a survey of dentists, more than two-thirds said it had contributed to them reducing the number of NHS patients they're able to treat. Practices themselves are having difficulty in recruiting dentists to work in the NHS in the first place. Uh, dentists don't work and want to work in a, uh, uh, an ethical system, a target-driven system, so they don't want to work in, in those practices in the first place. So access automatically goes down. So whilst there might be the same number of practices that are out there, few, dentists are doing fewer and fewer treatments on the NHS and there are patches of, of the country where it's, it's a struggle to get NHS dentistry because of the access problem. Some people are waiting months, even years, for NHS treatment. In Cornwall, people have faced waiting lists of 18 to 36 months, and this can have a severe effect on your dental health. The real problem we have with NHS access decreasing is that patients bottle up their problems. Tragically, we also have patients who do DIY dentistry. So while patients are facing increasing dental charges each year, deterring them from getting treatment, the even bigger problem is the lack of NHS availability. Dwindling access means Treatment costs, when you finally get an appointment, may well be higher than if you went regularly. And if instead you opt for private healthcare, the costs are, of course, much steeper. What advice would you give to a consumer looking to get NHS dentistry? The first thing for a consumer, if they're, if they're looking for their children, it's free. The first thing they know, it's free. Um, so if they need to get access to an NHS dentist, they go into NHS Choices, there will be a list of uh, dentists who are taking on uh, NHS patients in that area. If they have difficulty in doing that, they may have to travel. Patients are often confused about costs, um, so ask for a treatment plan. NHS uh, dentists and private dentists are all expected to give you a written treatment plan, so ask for that. Uh, they'd be more than happy to, to give that to you. Um, in terms of uh, the differences between different treatments, they, again, they're more than happy to uh, discuss that with you. Let us know your experience. Whether you've been affected by cost or distance, share your story.